Hello, all you beautiful people. So today we are doing a meal prep video. I don't know about you, but I don't like to spend my entire Sunday in the kitchen. So we're gonna see if we can knock this out in less than one hour. It'll be about 15 meals, but I think we can do it. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with my breakfast as well as the vegetables. And then once those are in the oven, we will hop out to the barbecue. I already have some spinach and some bell peppers cut up right here. And what I'm gonna do is take three, five three-fourths cup egg whites and just pour it in this pan. Mind you, this is already sprayed with some avocado oil. Me, Cause I know then you'll see We can be true We can be true I want you to see what I see in us Something so real Something so real I want you to see that This is a love That we both feel That we both feel to just put a little dash of almond milk. You can put whatever milk. I just find that it makes it a little bit fluffier. And then I take some salt. Just put a couple pinches in. Nothing too crazy. Some pepper. garlic powder. Mind you, this is all for taste, so you can put in whatever your taste buds like, and then some onion powder. And then I just kind of mix it all. Okay, so pre-oven, here we go. You can see that the white clouds are obviously from the almond milk. Honestly, the hardest part is getting this in the oven because it's straight liquid, so just keep that in mind. Success, on to the vegetables. Okay, so for this week, I got some broccoli as well as some Brussels sprouts, and I'm just gonna go ahead and roast those at the same time as my breakfast, because we don't like to spend all day in the kitchen. ahead and add some olive oil and salt and pepper to these veggies and then pop those in the oven as well. you someone like you I want you to know me cuz I know then you'll see we can be true we can be true I want you to see what I see in us something so real something so real I want you to see that this is a love that we both feel, that we both feel. And how will we ever know if the love will ever grow without trying, without... And then just give it a good old shake. And how will we ever see if we are meant to be terrified? Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can use whatever vegetables you want. 
This is before the oven. I'll probably put it in a different pan, but we're gonna work with it. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the oven for 30 minutes and then broil for another five. Also, while those are cooking, go ahead and wash a sweet potato. I like the Japanese ones, they taste better to me. Um, and we're gonna pop that sucker in while they're cooking because we like to double time. So this is what our little egg bake looks like when it comes out of the oven. I'd say pretty dang good. So we're gonna let that cool a little bit while we go and start the chicken. Okay, so while my vegetables are cooking and my breakfast is cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on barbecuing. Um, I'll be barbecuing on these little, these little sheets here because um, they're these nifty little things. You still get all of your barbecue marks and everything. It just keeps your barbecue clean and keeps these dirty. So let's go. So you just lay these out just right on your barbecue. The thing with them though is like I've noticed you don't get as much of like, there's no ventilation. So when you go to go flip it, it's like really, really hot. Um, so just look out for that. I'll link these down below if you're curious. Um, and then I'm just gonna season my chicken with some original seasoning, just add some flavor. When a love shuts the door, it's a losing game. It's a losing game. So you can kind of see right here how like all that white right there. It's cool. It's cool. Just cooking. And then all these little that's just a seasoning because once again. I'm lazy. So you can see all this black stuff is just the seasoning. It'll come right off and then keeps your barbecue from getting all yucky. So, so you can see it still has grill marks. So hopefully it's all done. All right, so last step, we are going to just cut these up into, I do it into 10 and then I just take two each day. But if you just want five, just do five. Or However many days you're meal prepping for. So, yeah. Okay, so obviously I'm no professional and you can see that like this one is right here and this, and then this one's way bigger so I'll just pair like a big one up with a small one so that they're still about the same and then this one and this one and then you'll be good to go so then I just cut it right down the middle and then you have your breakfast and then I eat two meals each day at work but that could potentially be your breakfast lunch and dinner however you do it and then I just come home and make a big old salad with the extra chicken that I made so that is all easy peasy Lemon squeezy. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see. We can be true, we can be true. I want you to see what I see in us. Something so real, something so real. I want you to see that this is a lie. Okay, so I didn't tie myself, I probably should have, but. That took about an hour, give or take. I used to think, I remember in the beginning when I started meal prepping, I was like, this is taking me like six hours. How do people do this? Like, here goes my entire day of just cooking in the kitchen. This is terrible. This isn't even worth it, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, you know what? Just start cutting corners. Like, you don't have to make it extra difficult on yourself. So I started making chicken, vegetables, sweet potatoes. Um, I do actually, cook each sweet potato the night before. That's just what I like to do. I find if I do them all at once and they kind of get soggy by the end of the week and I don't like to create extra work for myself by making like sweet potato fries, but by all means, if you want to do that, obviously go for it. So if you enjoyed watching this video, if you think any of it was helpful for you, if you're gonna take any of it, let me know down below. And if you want to come hang out with me and my boyfriend, Justin, again, please do remember to hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time. Bye. When a love shuts the door, it's a losing game.